But I believe、uh, why BYD is becoming a bigger automaker than Toyota is because BYD's products is super cheap. And the quality of a product is super excellent at the same time. What does make it possible? I'll give you a c l u e EV development is happening rapidly worldwide, and Japan needs to be competitive in order to keep it up with the spread of EVs. Toyota's strategy、uh, for electric vehicles is an、uh, extension、uh, of their successful business model with internal combustion engine, but they realized it no longer works、uh, due to a change in、uh, regulations, politics, and the market environment. Toyota has designed and produced their own products, which are so excellent, but nevertheless, BYD has a stronger market position than Toyota does. Why is that? In terms of uh, wide uh, reaching uh, distributions and brand recognitions, I thought、um, Toyota must have been better. Well, I'm Japanese and I'm a Toyota lover, so、uh, you might see、uh, I have a prejudice、uh, against the Chinese product, but to the tell t o with you, I have realized、uh, BYD is much better. What do you think it makes, it makes it better? I give you an answer. In terms of pricing, BYD provides you with Inexpensive batteries. BYD produces and designs、uh, electric vehicles from batteries. Their original business was、uh, launched from mass production of battery. Even Tesla、uh, has a business alliance with a Japanese manufacturer called Panasonic Inc. Tesla buys batteries from a Japanese c o m p a n y but BYD doesn't. BYD has an impressive business model that led to、uh, a rapid growth in the market. I'm going to talk more about that, why a BYD has a higher technology of batteries than other competitors have. This is quite an important factor for today's video, folks. Looking back about、uh, 30 years ago,、uh, there, is, there was、uh, one uh, Chinese researcher、uh, whose name was、uh, Wang Chuanfu. The CEO of BYD, as I told you in the first video, he founded his company in 1995. He didn't start doing automotive business, but battery business. He has、uh, achieved its strong market position in energy storage firstly. This is quite、uh, much uh, related to、uh, diversity. Okay? So, diversity is、uh, something mixed with uh, some uh, different identities,、uh, pros perspectives, and experiences within a group, organization, or even society. So, Wan Chuan Fu、uh, connected his enterprise with、uh, another business model, which is EV development. Back in、uh, 1995, at the time,、uh, from the first to the fifth battery.、Uh, c o m p a n y were ranked by such Japanese companies as Sanyo Electric Company, Panasonic, and NEC. Wan Chuan Fu was so shocked at the Japanese battery business so much, and he studied abroad in Japan to copy Japanese business. Later on,、uh, brought his knowledge back to China and established his battery company on his own. This is the、uh, uh, beginning of BYD. So, this is so great. I admire him so much as a business person. What was great about the Japanese battery company was a clean room. Japan provided a clean air solution for uh, clean uh, rooms, uh, research, lab research uh, laboratories, uh, hospitals, and uh, those who uh, needed a、uh, controlled air environment. Clean room is defined、uh, as, as, as an environmentally enclosed space. Uh, in terms of uh, airborne uh, particulate, particulates, uh, temperature, humidity, and、uh, air pressure, and stuff like that. Let's say, yeah, a semiconductor has to be、uh, designed and produced for a、uh, significant number of all operating、uh, clean r o o m Otherwise,、uh, they're gonna be a、uh, uh, piece of crap. Uh, especially since a semiconductor is a sensitive and delicate product, mass production of it is quite expensive to manufacture and maintain it at the, uh, at the same, uh, at, at the same、uh, level of quality, you know? So, Wan Chuan Fu knew it.、Uh, he had a good nose for the global EV trend. Uh, he figured、uh, it was so impossible to import and bring the technology back to China. So, he shifted to import from Clean room to the box. Do you understand what I just meant? Box means box. Small sized clean room. 
he faced the uh, high technology of clean room uh, uh, designed uh, by a Japanese battery company. Uh, he was astonished. He gave up on uh, importing, uh, so he looked for alternative way to go on uh, mass production of battery uh, in, uh, domestic, in do domestically. So later on, he invented cream box instead of it. So domestic operators uh, just uh, put, put, put their uh, heads into the cream box and uh, made the batteries. Everything but a cream box is just a normal environment out there. So uh, that enabled uh, BYD to save a, a whole bunch of initial cost and investment. That was in uh, na late 1990s. Yeah, and then at the same time, uh, mass production of a smartphone uh, went crazy uh, worldwide. So uh, one Chuan Fu was on, on board and start, uh, started making uh, tons of cheap batteries. They didn't have to uh, make a big batteries, but just uh, you know small ones to install smartphones. That's how he succeeded to uh, produ uh, produce inexpensive batteries, almost uh, at the same level of high quality with Japanese company. And you know, they finally went public in Hong Kong market in 2002. His journey is not done yet, by the way. His uh, amazing achievement is not satisfied with his desire. I mean dream. What's more amazing uh, after going public was the uh, you know Wan Chuan Fu uh, did buy out and acquire the local uh, oil maker uh, because uh, BYD uh, at, the, at, at, at the time was just a battery company. Yeah, they wanted to, they wanted the uh, technology uh, of uh, mechanical engineering. So he absorbed a complete understanding of vehicles and started uh, developing electric vehicles in a uh, combination with battery. Yeah, Wan Chuan Fu had already foreseen the future of his company, which is so amazing. He has uh, already visualized the demand of electric vehicles uh, worldwide are, uh, are uh, going up and up. You know what? Chinese companies are so smart. Alibaba company, yeah, Baidu, yeah, Tencent, and Huawei. They are uh, still growing, and BYD is not exception exceptional either. They are looking forward to the futures. Yeah, uh, when uh, China's government uh, shifted their society vision into EV development, uh, BYD had already taken further steps to uh, innovate battery uh, battery business. However, a local infra infrastructure was not was still immature. The lawmaking was uh, still ongoing. Uh, people were still behind the technology trend. Look, there is no uh, station uh, to uh, charge battery. While uh, Silicon Valley in California already installed some more. For uh, for for China, uh, it's impossible to uh, construct the plants for uh, massive batteries charges uh, in no time. I mean, uh, massive battery chargers in no time. Yeah, China was out of budget to spread EV development nationwide. So China's government encouraged the BYD to develop an IT technology technology in Shenzhen. Yeah, Shenzhen is located uh, in the southeast of China near Hong Kong, the most developed uh, city in China, where it was designated as a, a electric special district, allowing for flexible local regulations and uh, and newest technology installation at the same time. By the way, Japan doesn't have it. Yeah, BYD uh, firstly uh, started collecting, organizing and analyzing uh, the low, low, uh, low data from public transportation and then kept trusted uh, track record for the next improvement. Shuttle bus and public bus is a good example of uh, EV development in China because they can measure like uh, how many miles public bus uh, can drive uh, in a, in a predetermined bus route. Yeah, they don't uh, go freely out of the town and they can uh, measure how long battery lasts. Yeah, good things about the public bus is that they don't go go far, right? Yeah, unlike a taxi, yeah, public transit is only allowed to run uh, within an urban community in Shenzhen. So BYD can easily plan schedule, uh, decides, uh, I, I mean, determine frequency, uh, estimate uh, arrival time, and evaluate effectiveness and efficiency of public bus routes and stuff like that. So EV de uh, development is not just only an ongoing project managed by BYD, but also 
national projects are strongly encouraged by the Chinese government and other huge authorities. China uh, has a very, very strong power with the plenty of budget. Once they make a decision, they move faster. Much faster. Japan is so cheap, by the way. Yeah, always complaining like uh, tax increase is not good. Yeah, consumption uh, tax ratio is too high. You know, that's stupid. I don't think uh, that's a smart way to talk about to talk uh, about the small things because you know in the meantime China is gonna be go far away from Japan. Yeah, uh, we're gonna be like, oh please wait for me. That's so dumb. <laughs> yeah, let's see how to change the world, shall we? Okay, so uh, that's pretty much about uh, pretty much for today. Uh, in the next chapter, we'll go uh, dive a little bit more into a battery revolution as to what's going on, BYD's breakthrough, and how Toyota is gonna be able to win the global EV competition with China in 2023. Let's take another look at it. Thanks for watching.